Hello, my classy people. How y'all doing? Hope everybody had a good Saturday. First and foremost, I want to say I'm glad that uh, the riders and the horses that went down in the Fountain of Youth are all okay. That's really what matters, right? So we're happy for Rosario and uh, Alvarado and, of course, the two Billy Mott horses uh, got up uh, High Oaks, one of them, uh, very well and glance. So, as always, please turn your clothes captured on. You know, we're going to dial into a race tomorrow at Sunday over at uh, Santa Anita. They have two stake races. So we figure we might as well go ahead and dial into those two races. Um, it is the China Doll Stakes race on uh, the ninth race, the last race of the card. 400,000 going a flat mile for three-year-old fillies on the turf, a field of eight. We'll run through it. I have an opinion. It's a bit of a long shot. Uh, we got no prices today on Saturday, so maybe we can get now one tomorrow. Races, okay, so, and, uh, excuse my official. data in the background running there. So, the China Doll Stakes, uh, the number one horse, Pammy's Ready. Uh, Pammy's Ready uh, is 10 to 1 on the morning line. Uh, very speedy horse, Pammy Ready, by More Than Ready. Uh, on the back end by Warfront, the grandsire. Uh, Mr. Alvarado, uh, Ru Ruben Alvarado is our trainer. And uh, this horse to me is 10 to 1 on the line, coming off of a maiden win January 29th at a mile right here at Santa Anita. Coming back in 36 days and should be the clear speed here. On the rail, should save the ground, should get to the top. And 10 to 1 is an awfully, awfully juicy price on Pammy's Ready in uh, this China Doll Stakes. She will be one of my top pick, if not the top pick. I found the keys to the engine. The number one, Pammy's ready. Very, very fast. Great value. And the number two, Golden Dragon Queen. Well, the old queen horse has five starts and one win for Richard Baltus by Golden Sense. Speed figures are okay on this horse, but I don't think that she's up to speed at 12 to one to beat this field. She was already beaten uh, by the eight horse here, Lucky's Girl, as well as the number six horse, Island of Love. So we're going to throw the number two, Golden Dragon Queen, off the ticket. The number three horse, Sterling Cress. Well, Stor Sterling Cress has five starts, one win, two seconds, and one third. This horse has always been on the board. They paid $135,000 for the number three horse, Sterling uh, uh, Cress. And she's by no, nay, never. Again, this is another Richard Baltus horse. Richard has two of them in here. I believe he has the number two horse as well. Uh, Golden Dragon Queen, who we threw out. And no, he has three in here. And he has the bottom horse, Lucky Girl. And the number three horse to me is another horse that should uh, take uh, a lot of attention here. Ran a beautiful maiden race on February 12th and won the race. Now returning in 22 days, have uh, Respoli up. So the number three horse to me is very, very strong here, and I see that this filly should go forward. Probably will be one of my top two picks in here. The number four, an agent mistake. Uh -huh. Well, this horse had made no mistakes. Only got one start, the number four, uh, an agent mistake, but won that. So the horse is one for one. It is Doug O'Neill. He is in a training battle. Uh, with uh, Phil the model, okay, I think Phil is in front of him by one, but this horse, the number four, appears to be totally overmatched to me, uh, uh, you know, here, uh, speed figures are a little light, but again, it's a very lightly raced horse, so again, these horses improve the most between their first start and their second start, their second start into their third start, but I don't like the number four, an agent mistake, I'm going to go ahead and throw her off the ticket. The number five, Urban. Urban. Well, Urban has six starts, one win, two seconds, and two third. Mr. Callahan is our trainer of record. Johnny V is in the arms. And this horse, number five, is bred like all get out. By Quality Road, Grand Cyrus Sky Mesa. And to me, there is some upside to this horse. Uh, I don't think that the horse uh, not going to be one of my top picks. I'm not going to say that Urban can't win the race. Uh, four to one on the morning line. You have Johnny V. Mr. Callahan is a pretty decent trainer at 17%. I would use the number five, Urban, underneath. The number six horse. Well, here's a horse 
again, that I think needs to take some attention and is your favorite in the race, Island of Love, the number six. Three starts, two wins, and one second. Of course, Flavian Pratt is on the number six. It's filled the model, and you know they mean business. This horse came off of a 140-day layoff, made her three-year-old debut on the 30th of January uh, in an overnight stake race, ran second to Richard Balter's bottom horse here, the number eight, Lucky Gal. And again, uh, the number six horse is very, very strong in this spot. With Flavian Pratt up, of course, he gets all the live mounts. And as I had discussed, Phil D'Amato is the current leading, jo uh, leading trainer by one over Doug, Doug O'Neill. So the number six to me is very, very alive here and probably should be definitely used in any exotic uh, wagering in the body exactors and try. Only five to two. Big player here, big win contender in here. Well, Virulant, Virulant, the number seven horse, has a record of three wins and one, one, he won once. This is the second field the model in the race. Mikey Smith is up. And to me, it's just to cut below. But when you're going as hot as Phil the model is, you almost don't overlook any, any you know, horses um, that he puts on the track. Ran uh, fifth by two to half past 12 last time on January 16th. Earn a okay speed figure, but again, I would use the number seven, uh, ver uh, virulent underneath, if anything. And we talked a little bit about the last horse in the race, the number eight. This is the third Richard Baltus horse. He's trying to circle the wagons, right? Well, the number eight lucky gal has five starts, one win and one third. Richard Baltus, you got Joey B up. And again, to me, the speed figure on this horse is just phenomenal. He beat at least two of these horses in here. The number six horse, Island of Love, like we talked about, the Phil the Model horse. And the Golden Dragon Queen, the other uh, Richard Baltus horse, the entry mate. So to me, the number eight horse, again, is a win contender here. and Probably is going to be my third pick in the China Doll. So... There is your China Doll at Santa Anita on Sunday, ninth race, $100,000 stake race for three-year-old girls. And I'm going to take the number one horse, Pammy's, reality, uh, Pammy's Ready. She's 10 to 1, and I don't know how I can't not take this horse, particularly with the value at 10 to 1. And she looks like clearly the speed to me, and it's a flat mile, and she's on the rail. So she should save the ground. She's already the speed. And she's 10 to 1, so I'll take a flyer and a chance with the number 1, Pammy's Ready, as my first pick. And my second pick here, well, again, I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Richard Balter's bottom horse, Lucky Girl. Uh, I like this horse a little bit from the outside and uh, don't need to be near the lead, but should be sitting in the catbird. Uh, lucky gal. And my third pick will be the number three horse, Sterling Crest. Again, this is another Richard Baltus horse uh, that I'm going to pick for third. Okay, so I've got both of Richard Baltus horses second and third in this spot for sure. So for us in the China Doll is going to be the number one, Penny's Ready, and the Richard Baltus horse, the number eight, our second pick, Lucky Girl, and the second Richard Baltus horse as our third pick, Sterling Crest. Now, I do need to tell you that the number six horse, of course, uh, Island of Love, is the favorite in the race. It is Phil the model. It is Flavian Pratt. I'm just going to try to get around the favorite here by using the one, eight, three in that order. Understanding the six is a very big player in this spot with Flavian Pratt. So there's my pick in the China Doll. One eight, eight, one, eight, three in that order. Let me know what you think. Stay classy, folks. And most of all, always have some fun.